Mr. Mr. Don't treat me so unkind. Hi guys, it's Angela Kim from MissWishyMonster.com and today I'm going to show you how to make sticky, sweet, crunchy, buttery, and so, so yummy caramel corn from scratch without the aid of any special equipment or a lot of time in the oven because this is completely no big. The very first thing you want to do is air pop your popcorn, so you just need some popcorn kernels and a brown bag. And you just want to slip this in there, and then you want to fold over twice. Now I'm going to pop this into the microwave, but it's most important to listen to the pop. So when it starts slowing down, you want to take it out so you don't burn anything. Here's my popcorn. I did it in two batches and just make sure you listen to it. That's the most important thing. Every microwave is different. So this took me two to three minutes each time and it made me a whole big old bowl of popcorn. And make sure that you take out all of the unpopped kernels because you don't want to bite into that. That really hurts. So you want to be careful about that. So I'm just going to set it aside because we don't need it right now. And in my pot, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that are going to come together into a caramely slurry. So I have some firmly packed brown sugar, and then some butter, some unsalted butter, and then I have some corn syrup that I'm going to add with my salt. That's why we're using unsalted um, butter so we can control the salt ourselves, and then a little tip of vanilla. And the last ingredient here will be some baking soda, but we're not gonna put that into the very end. So this is your chance to mix. You don't wanna mix while it's on the stove top. You just want it to bubble away. And when it starts forming big bubbles, I'll show you. That's when you want to hit it at that five minute mark. It's really important to let it go for um, undisturbed for exactly five minutes after it reaches those big bubbles. So this is the time to stir, and you don't wanna stir after this. Remember, you can swirl your pan, but you cannot stir to prevent any crystallization from happening. Now, when big bubbles form like this, you want to set your timer for exactly five minutes. I'm taking my caramel off the heat, and now I'm going to stir at this point. Now you can stir. Sprinkle in some baking soda. This is the same stuff that I put in. The baking soda is what I put into my peanut brittle, and it makes it so kind of light and airy. So you just want to stir that in very quickly. I'm going to work with my popcorn in batches so that everything gets thoroughly coated and I just transferred half of it into a larger bowl and I'm going to toss everything together and then just add more popcorn and more caramel as need be. Here are my clusters of caramel coated popcorn and if you wanted you could definitely add some salted peanuts but I find that just as is plain like this very simple. It's buttery and salty and sweet and crunchy all at the same time. It's amazing and that's one of the favorite, my favorite things about this. And I hope I showed you guys that it's really not difficult to make this at home, to recreate it without a candy thermometer, without a ton of time baking in the oven, without any special equipment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please don't forget forget to share, like, and subscribe. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. This is Angela Kim from thesquishymonster.com, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Mister, mister, don't treat me so unkind.